One in four Egyptians lives on less than two dollars a day. Poverty and wealth coexist uncomfortably close here. Egypt's cash reserves are low, unemployment is high, growth is slow and foreign investment almost non-existent. And the region's third largest economy doesn't fare that well when it comes to poverty. More than 16 million people live in slums like this one. Here, families of eight are cramped in a small room where the kitchen and toilet are in the same room. The political turmoil has meant living conditions for many have become worse. Although civilians are in charge, but the military has deep interests in Egypt's economy. There is talk that the army owns 40% of the economy. This is not true. It does not exceed 2% of the economy. And economists say there are other reasons holding back Egypt. Mismanagement and corruption in growing state-funded subsidies have been a problem, especially on basic goods. Researchers say an unfair tax system is also an issue. It's estimated that between 2008 and 2012, Egypt's largest corporations contributed just 13% in taxes. That's less than half the amount paid by individuals. The disparity in income between the poor and rich, where a graduate doctor earns a little over $60 a month, is forcing millions of Egyptians to travel abroad. And nearly 4 million people are without a job. A majority of them are under the age of 30. Faced with these challenges, Egypt's interim government has announced a few infrastructure projects, a small rise in minimum wage and cancelled fees for state-owned schools. But people haven't seen any real economic progress. Fuel shortages and power outages have become a part of daily life. And solving those issues has been at the heart of the presidential campaign. <laughs> I'll buy a thousand trucks. Each will have two or three young men working on them. They'll drive them to farms, take the produce and then go sell them. The frontrunner this time is retired Army Chief Abdul Fattah al-Sisi. He's hinting at cutting spending and reducing poverty. But Egyptians have heard it all before. And for the hundreds of thousands struggling to survive every day, promises alone don't mean much. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.